Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And hi again, everyone. At least it looks like we're going to get off to some awesome days of weather for this Tulsa State Fair. Maybe in the middle part of it of next week, we could see some rain and thunderstorms. Last night, the coolest night since May 19th, as temperatures dropped into the 40s in many locations across the area. And you know what? It seems appropriate that that happened this morning because on this day in 1942, Tulsa had its coldest ever September temperature recorded at 35 degrees. So while we weren't at a record, we were pretty cool this morning. We'll be a little bit warmer tonight as temperatures drop to around 52 in Bartlesville tonight, 56 at Grove and Claremore around 55, 57 out in Pawnee. Also 57 in Tulsa, 56 at Bristow, 54 over in Stillwell, Tahlequah, one of those cooler readings dropping to 52. It'll be 53 in Poto tonight and 57 around Eufaula, 56 at McAllister with calm winds down to the south. So tomorrow still need, I think, layers again, maybe a sweatshirt. It won't be as chilly. Temperatures in the upper 50s and again, we'll have clear skies. Our cool northwest winds will continue as we head through the next couple of days. And you can see this low spinning up here. This is going to generate a cold front that will dive to the south during the day tomorrow. So even though we have a little bit of a warm up tonight and tomorrow, thanks to high pressure moving away and the southwesterly winds, we're currently at 83 right now in Tulsa. We'll see the temperatures sneak back into the middle 80s again tomorrow. But here comes that cold front firming up right on the Kansas Oklahoma border tomorrow late morning and into the afternoon. It starts to build to the south and so that'll clear the area. The winds will turn back to the north and then cool high pressure will build in here during the day on Thursday and we'll have a breezy northwest wind spreading out this dry air at about 10 to 15 miles an hour and the temperatures on Thursday quite fall like below average in the low to mid 70s. So it's going to be a great day on Thursday. Tomorrow we warm up again, low 80s around 2 p.m. Then the temperatures start to drop as we fall back to around 50, maybe the upper 40s by Thursday morning, upper 40s for sure out to the north and to the northeast of Tulsa. Today's high temperature 53 officially this morning, 50. 79 to 57, the average is 96, the record high, 1954, 35, the record low, as we said, in 1942. Bristow this morning was down to 41, Vanita dropped to 43, Tahlequah and Inola also down into the mid 40s. Latest allergy report coming out tonight still has ragweed in the high spot. Grass pollens are also in a moderate category. High clouds out to the southeast. Otherwise, it is sunny as we look toward downtown Tulsa. Still waiting for maybe some splashes of color to show up here in the next couple of weeks. 83 right now, relative humidity 26%. Dew point down there in the middle 40s. Very comfortable air despite those south southwest winds at 8 miles an hour. So tonight it'll be a mild evening. 65 at 11 p.m. Still in the upper 50s tomorrow morning with southwest winds. Noontime temp switch to the northwest temperature around 79. We'll see a breezy and warm afternoon with high temperatures in the lower 80s tomorrow, maybe only upper 70s at Bartlesville, mid 70s at Coffeyville tomorrow and out in Tahlequah about 84 degrees, 84 at Okmulgee, 85 at Muskogee tomorrow and 83 at Sepulpa as it takes a little longer for that cooler air to get there. And because of that, Stigler makes it to 87 and McAllister could have sort of a warm day with high temperatures very close to 90 degrees. 49 Thursday morning, 73 by Thursday afternoon, 50 Friday morning, 75 Friday afternoon. Boy, look at these cool mornings. Hope you didn't put the sweatshirt away after today. We're looking at temperatures in the lower 50s Saturday morning, 76 degrees, then 80 on Sunday morning with temperatures in the mid 50s, a little warmer Monday morning, 61, 84 Monday afternoon, mid 80s by Tuesday. And again, the next chance of rain may be coming in next Wednesday or Thursday. Here